Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea that you need to keep changing exercises to continue to progress with strength and muscle building. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. Come on over, submit your questions. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. And if you need a workout assessment, uh, if you need form assessment, or if you need weight loss coaching, check out my link to superliving.com below. All right, so there is a YouTube channel, uh, a smaller channel, but a, a growing channel that I follow and that I respect highly. And I'm not going to mention here because the name's not important. The concept is important. But the, uh, the individual put on social media uh, the notion that you need, and that was the word used, you need to change exercises to continue to stimulate uh to continue to stimulate muscle growth, strength, uh, etc. If you don't, the body will adapt. And we aren't going to get all in all the nuances. But I want to make a video about it because this type of information uh, really confuses a lot of us. We hear this information from very intelligent individuals who mean well. And we take it and then we think, oh my God, I have to apply this. This person's very intelligent. Even the big hairy ugly dude trusts this guy. So I have to take this information, I have to apply it. Here's the problem thinking you have to change exercises frequently. The individual stated that a lot of the top coaches agree. And you know what? That is true to, uh, to an extent. If you are in the top 1% of 1% in a sport, and you're trying to ring out the top 1% of 1% uh, in powerlifting, then there is some there is some applications for this type of information. The problem is the idea that the average individual, the average bro or average broette, average Joe or Jane, needs to change exercises to reach their goals. It just, it's not necessary at all. The average Joe or average Jane, uh, even the average power lifter, doesn't need to do this to reach their goals. This type of information, this this concept simply isn't applicable, applicable to 99.99% of us. We don't need to continually change exercises. What this type of information does is it confuses people. They go about their business and now they think they have to add another variable in their training. All you really need, 99.99% of us, unless you're an elite athlete, is consistency progression, a good exercise selection, a reasonable volume, and a reasonable diet. You apply that over three, four, five, six years, you're going to have all the muscle you want, you're going to have all the strength you want, uh, and you'll, you'll never have to worry about all this little stuff. I have to tell you, I've been lifting for 32 years. I don't change exercises, never change exercises. I became one of the strongest over 40 uh, power lifters uh, in my weight class. I was in within shouting distance of becoming, uh, you know, I was chasing after the world record, uh, over 50 world record in power lifting, a real world record. Uh, October of last year, a Russian came along and beat it by 100 pounds and pretty much smashed my dreams. And then I, um, I uh, picked up a, ham a severe hamstring tear. So my, my dreams were pretty much over. But I was with, within about 40 pounds of that record when I was trying to chase it. Didn't get there. Um, you know, I'm a has-been. I'm a washer for so on and so forth. But you know what? It just goes to show you that hard work on the basics works. And there, you know, I didn't need to change exercises. I didn't need to overcomplicate things. Uh, all I really needed to do is be consistent, train smart, learn my body, and, and, and change based on what on the demands, on the feedback my body was giving me. So, again, in conclusion, the idea that you need to change exercises frequently just simply isn't anything that 99.99% of us need to worry about. I don't care how many top-level strength coaches, I don't care how many top-level coaches talk about it. It is viable for some people that are trying to, they're trying to reach that Olympic level, trying to reach, reach that world record level. They're trying to compete at the top of the top. But for the rest of us that are just trying to get very, very big, very, very strong, lose weight, look very, very good, you can achieve a Herculean amount of strength without ever worrying about this stuff. 
you can, and I would say, if you push hard enough, you can get within just pounds and ounces of your natural muscle building potential without ever worrying about this stuff. You might even reach pretty darn close to your natural potential without ever worrying about this stuff. So not trying to not trying to diss this gentleman's advice, not trying to disrespect them. There are applications, but again, for average Joe and Jane, they'll get very confused when they hear this advice because it's simply not needed. So when you hear things that tell you that you need more than compound exercises, a, a good exercise selection revolving around compound exercises, progressive overload, a reasonable amount, a reasonable amount of volume, uh, consistency, and uh, a reasonable diet. If anybody tells you you need, and that's the word this gentleman said, is you need, you have to you have to understand that you don't need it. Ninety nine point nine percent of us don't need it. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.